Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore here. Today I've got a quick tip for you about creating titles. Creating kind of fancy title frames and actual separate cover pages if you like. So when you first create your score, MuseScore gives you a default title frame with some information in it. And you're not limited to that information. We can add other things. I can right click in the frame and go to the Add menu and say that I want to add different types of text. For instance, a lyricist. I can put in the lyricist if I didn't enter one already. Uh, now the other thing is you're not limited to this size of the frame. If you want it larger, you can just drag the uh, frame larger or use the properties to set a more precise size. Notice when I did this, the uh, the title and subtitle stay kind of uh, frozen up at the top. The lyricist and composer info stay kind of frozen at the bottom, and that is because of their alignment settings. If I select one of those text elements, like say the uh, title here, under alignment in the properties, I can set it to be left aligned, or centered, or right. And I'll go back to the left here. You can also set the vertical alignment. Right now it's set to the top of the frame, or I can make it be the middle of the frame, or I can make it be the bottom of the frame. I'll go ahead and put it in the middle. And I'll put it in the middle here too. So I've got our title kind of nice and centered. Now notice the subtitle is still kind of locked up towards the top, but it's not all the way to the top. And that's because uh, if I click it and then go to the appearance section of the properties frame, we can see it has an offset of 10. So if I set that to zero, for instance, now it's more locked up to the top. Now so far we have this information and we can kind of make it look how we want, but what if we want it to be a separate page? Well, we can do that. All we have to do is select the frame and hit Control Enter or Command Enter on Mac to add a page break to that frame. And then zooming out, I can actually make that frame be the full size of the page and now I have uh, that frame set that way. I can make the title larger. I can click it and come over to properties and make this say be 48 point font. And I can also put a background image in here. If I right click my frame and come back to the add menu, I can go down to image and select this nice little image that I've created here. And when I select it, I get this and I can kind of just drag it off a little bit and then resize it to fully cover the page. Now, it's covering the page, but it's also covering the title, and that's because it's actually displaying on top of the text. And finally, what we're going to do is fix that by uh, clicking in the appearance area of the properties and saying we're going to send it to the back. And now we have our nice gradient image behind our text. So those are some of the things you can do to create fancier title frames and cover pages for your scores.